South Korean doctors have continued their demonstrations against the government's plan to increase medical school admissions. And at the center of this dispute is a recent government announcement that, that the colleges and the universities would admit 2,000 more medical students from the next academic year. Hundreds of senior doctors held a rally near the presidential office in Seoul. The government says it aims to add up to 10,000 doctors by 2035 in a bid to address what it calls a shortage of doctors in the country's fast aging population. But doctors say that higher medical school admissions will only lower the overall medical education level in South Korea and it will not solve the resource imbalance in South Korea. Now before the rally, the doctors gathered at a meeting held by the Korean Medical Association. The association has requested the government to cancel the plan. At this point, our goal is to make the government realize it is a wrong policy and urge them to start the dialogue from the beginning. I think it is the collective goal of 140,000 doctors. I believe that myself, the emergency committee and 140,000 doctors will voluntarily work together until that goal is achieved. Now, through the week, collective walkouts of nearly 10,000 doctors have caused cancellations of surgeries and disrupted other hospital operations. It has also raised concerns that more patients may miss the time for treatment as the stalemate continues. Now, the medical center and the Samsung Medical Center said that they have cut the number of surgeries by over 40 percent. A few patients say that they had been asked to leave the hospital as soon as possible. The South Korean government has said that it will continue implementing the policy and take prompt judicial action against the doctor's resignation. It has also warned the striking doctors to return to work immediately or face legal action. In response, the association has promised that they will continue with their demonstrations in the country. They argue that South Korea's population will continue shrinking due to the low birth rate, so there will be no shortage of doctors. But the decline in birth rate is alarming. South Korea has the lowest fertility rate in the world. In 2020, the number of deaths had already exceeded the number of births. It's also important to mention here that South Korea's doctor-to-patient ratio is among the lowest in the world particularly in pediatrics and emergency departments and also in rural areas. The demonstrations have thereby failed to generate public support, with a survey suggesting that about 75% of South Koreans support the government's push to train more doctors in the country. <laughs> We'll be right